Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you had a good week and I'm so sorry that I didn't ever make it back to make a video. It just seems like by the time I do my tutorial and edit it and answer the, you know, a few comments and do the other stuff, but I promise I'm going to try harder and hopefully I'll do a video this weekend. So today I'm going to do things a little bit different, if you don't mind. I'm going to do my clothes that I got first so I can just show them to you and then get them out of the way. Um, I didn't want to like put them on the floor or anything. So um, I hit some sales this week at Dillard's and Belk's. And Dillard's, you know, doesn't run sales a whole lot. But when they do, they have good ones. And they had, I went upstairs and I went in like the Vince Camuto, Gianni Beanie, Michael Kors, kind of section and they had some really pretty things and they were on sale I believe they were 40% off and then an additional 40 so I got a few things and um, I'll go ahead and show you let's see um, that's not from there let's see I got this which is just pretty basic and it is just um, and what do you know awake basics and I realized this is going to be so much black that it's going to just drown me out. But don't worry about me. Just look at the clothes. So um, this is just one of those a thin tank top, tank top, turtleneck. And <laughs> not funny. Anyway, um, and I just liked it because it's really long and um, kind of fitted and kind of dressy. So I thought I could wear that. And let's see, I'll tell you the good deals that I got. Um, it was... $17 and then 40% off of that. Okay, um, this is kind of funky, but I like it. And I think it would look good with um, a pencil skirt or leggings or whatever. It's Gianni Beanie. Let's see, it was originally 59, then it was marked down to 34, and then I got 50% off or 40% off. And um, I'm gonna save the best thing for last. And then these two, I think, did I pay full price? I think, I think I might have paid full price for these because I just liked them, which full price was only $29 for one and um, $24 for the other. But um, I just liked the look of that black t-shirt. It's kind of thin and dressy and I thought this would look great with a black pencil skirt and some really good jewelry. And um, I know that it's kind of boring, but when I want to feel my best or when I want to put on something good that I feel good in and I'm kind of in a hurry, <laughs> I don't know, I feel confident if I put on all black. That's just the way it is or a black dress or something like that. So, um, and then here again is another black top, but the, what makes this one special is every peplum top I have tried on has not fit me very well because I'm long waisted and it comes up too high. Well, this one is kind of long as you can see and it fits perfectly. So this also will look good with a pencil skirt, like my khaki pencil skirt, or even skinny jeans or anything like that. So, and I've tried everything on and it all fits. And then this was my like favorite thing I got. Um, this is a Gianni Beanie um, dress, let's see, size small. And um, it was regularly 99, marked down to 59, and then I got it 40% off of that and it is gorgeous. It's that blue that I love. The It fits just perfectly. And I really wanted to wear it today, but it's um, cold. The high is only 59, so I'll save it for next week when it gets a little bit warmer. But look at this. I love a dress with pockets. To me, that just, I don't know what it is. That just makes a dress to me. And then it has the pretty zipper in the back. Just kind of like I added detail. It's um. I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty gold and it shows a lot. It doesn't, it isn't covered. And, um, but that is just, that is my, probably my favorite thing I got as far as clothes. And, um, and then this came from Belks. I was in there last and weekend. Belks is and Belks doing like, gosh, they're practically, I mean, they're practically giving it away. It's like half off. And then I think another 75% off or something. Everything ends up being pretty inexpensive. And um, Karen Kane is made in the USA. It's a real good brand. And I ended up getting, I think, five dresses. I came home, did my fashion show for John, and we just decided this was our favorite one. We didn't really care for the other ones. Um, one of them was too big, because they only had medium. And then one was too small, because they only had extra small. And then he didn't care for, there was a leopard, one with like a 
leopard panel down the front and it was really pretty and then there was one with a lace panel down the front and he didn't care for either one of those so i just figured it wasn't worth keeping but we did like this one it's just a black really simple soft dress with that ruffle the whole way down and ruffles are supposed to be in this year and i love the way the front kind of gathers up and it's a great length it's just perfect it's perfect for any it's got plenty occasion. of um, ruffles and weight to it so that it's not ooh, it's clingy but not too clingy you know but it's i mean it's one i'd wear on a you know just any day like today or anything too so it's just multi-purpose and um so i'm gonna go hang these, these back up these are um some shoes and they are by vince camuto and this color is the saddle and i got size eight and the um style name is i guess j cell or just cell j-a-c-e-l-l -L -L. and actually let me show you the black ones first i bought the black and the luggage which is just a and new yesterday i decided color. to just wear these and i told myself well I took my flip-flops with me and I said, well, I'll wear these. If they end up hurting my feet, I'll put my flip-flops on and I'll take the brown ones back. But I wore them all day and they did not hurt. And they're just very, very pretty and basic shoes. And they were very, oh, got a piece of um, probably cat hair. <laughs> um, just real, just uh, they've got a good platform. They're really pretty, the covered heel. And I really enjoyed wearing them. So. These, I've had a pair of shoes like this before, a couple of them. I had one with a little bit smaller heel and then one that had a chunkier heel when those two were in style. These shoes come in handy because you can wear these with jeans. Because they come up so high, they don't flip. They just stay, you know, stationary on your foot and um, they were really, really comfortable. So for the person who's already used to wearing heels, they were really comfortable. These were actually lighter when I looked at them because you know, when they sit in the lights, they get lighter. And so I was kind of disappointed that they were as dark, but I know, I remember last year with my Gianni Beanie wedges that were this color, I ended up wearing them a lot. So these are the exact same shoes, just in the luggage color. And both of these were on sale. And um, I don't have my receipt. I do have my receipt. Is that for this? Yeah, it is. Okay. Both of them were $66, and I saved $88. So I, they were 40% off, and I believe they were over 100 to begin with. Yeah, 110 40% off ended up being $66. So that is just, I know I'll enjoy these, and it's a good transition shoe. And really, for here, it's a good all-year-round shoe. So, um, okay, then to go along with clothes, I got a surprise gift this week for my friend on here, Jeannie. And she has made me several t-shirts and she made me one, I don't know if you guys remember with the kitty cats on it, and I wear that all the time, it's real soft. These t-shirts are really nice, they're the Bella t-shirts, and she made me a new one. A Happy Friday with the kiss, isn't that sweet? And I love it, I especially love the blue, that'd be perfect for the summer. And I wear mine, I know you guys probably would wear it on Friday, but I wear mine all the time because I feel like it's my thing. And she sent two pair of crazy socks to Brooke. And it just so happened that yesterday was crazy sock day at Will's school. So he did not have any crazy socks. I get him all the little short gap socks so that I don't have to worry about putting them together. And um, so on the way out the door, I grabbed these and I showed it to him and stuck it in his book bag. And when I picked him up, he had them on. <laughs> so thank you, Jeannie. And she also sent him some candy and um she sent me a candle a real pretty is. i had it on my stove it. but um, it looks good in my kitchen but this is the vanilla sugar cookie and i hate to even burn it but um so oh my god it smells so good but i love the way it looks just with the with the lid on it looks kind of shabby chic so thank you so much jeannie we appreciate it all and i'm thinking about you okay so um let's see okay, then one of my okay. subscribers named sheila messaged me last week and said that she had been into a i can't remember what they're called if if it's the sax off fifth or if it was it was the sax outlet and they had wild fox sweatshirts for gosh i think they were like 60 i'm not even sure how much they were marked down and she was nice enough to send me a picture of some of them and what I did is just called there and had them, I paid for it, you know, on the phone and had them send them to me. And I think I ended up getting them with shipping and tax. It was like $70 for each sweatshirt. So thanks again, Sheila. So I got two more of my Wild Fox sweatshirts. I got this one 
which is the number nine, just the basic, and I love it. They're, well, I wore one yesterday with, what I wear it with, um, jeans, I think. I can't remember what jeans. But I, I noticed on. the first time I put this on, I had a tank top underneath it, and it didn't look as pretty. If you can wear these with nothing underneath, that way they have such a pretty drape, and they just look a little bit um, dressier. Because of the weight, they kind of mold, you know, to your figure, and um, they look really pretty. And um, so I got this one, and then I've got a sweater like this. And then I got the one with the red one with the white stars. And one I thing I wanted to say, these. too, I just mm -hmm. thought about it when I went and put those sweatshirts up, is try if I have been just washing and drying mine, and I'd been folding them and putting them in a drawer, but I noticed that they look better and don't get as wrinkled if you'll go ahead and hang them up. They just don't look as good when you put them in a drawer. So I have found that with mine. Okay. Oh, goodness. Um, I'm just going to dig right into the makeup now. Makeup, and I don't think I got anything for hair other than, I was going to show you this, I did take my extensions to, for those of you that live near me, at Ulta, there's a girl named Kay that is real good with extensions. She did Brooks for me a long time ago when Brooke wanted the ombre. She, Brooke had ombre hair and had extensions, and she ombre her extensions for her. So I took these to her and had her just texturize the ends. So you can see they look much better and much more like my hair. And um, I've got some in today, and you can see how much better they look. They just blend right in. And um, But I have like two, two or three pieces left. I don't have all of them. I just kind of put them in just for fun and just for a little bit extra. I'm always so paranoid that they're going to show. So mine start about right down there. And, um, and then they blend real well, I think. So... Thank you so much for telling me that. I I knew that, but I didn't think, I was worried that it was going to take, you know, too much hair away, but I'm so glad that you guys told me that. And you know what? I just spotted something I was looking for today. Okay, so many of you have told me to try the Dior Universal Brow Pencil. So I got it, and I looked for it today and could not find it, and it was out here ready to show you, but it's got a really good spoolie on the end and it is oh it just twists up it is just a really good you know brown oh my gosh i don't know if you guys just heard my stomach growl but it's just a light brown color it's a little topier than the lingering i think it's a little bit lighter and at first when i put it on and i thought i had a washcloth out here let me use this towel first when i put it on i thought well i didn't like it as much as the lingering but then as the day went on, I did. So I think it's just a different look. Today, I did use the lingering because I couldn't find that. Anyway, that's one thing that I got. I picked up one of these, which is the Jordana Fabuliner in brown. These are great little $1.99 liners, um, and it's not open. Um, you know, I don't know if it'll take me a while to open it. But anyway, it's just the marker kind, and it's real good. Even if you do your liner with a pencil, Gina does that. She does her liner with a pencil and then does her wing with this. So funny. I just looked and I thought, oh, God, that must be one of my extensions. But it's not. <laughs> I pulled it and it's real. <laughs> okay, where was I? So those two things. Um, let's see. My sister-in-law sent me a little package. She sent me, she said she was not going to use this, but she sent me her Obagi. Um, retinol, tretinoin cream, and I'm not sure of the percentage. I don't want to show her information, so I'm scared to show it. Let me just open the box. But I'm going to do an updated skincare routine, and the most important thing I think that you can do for your skin is tretinoin cream. Good, it's the same percentage, 0.05. And um, I use Rafisa, but I'm going to give this a try. This is the Abaji, so I feel like it's going to be somewhat like it. And then I wanted to show you this. I love tassels. I have them everywhere. I have one right here. I have them on my candlesticks up on the mantel. I have them everywhere. And she makes these. She makes jewelry too, but she makes these tassel keychains. And I probably will use mine for some kind of decoration in my room or something. Um, with using my little purse, I don't know if I'd, I'd have to cram it in there. I wouldn't want to hurt it. But look how pretty it is with the nice beads and everything so this was john's sister linda so i really appreciate that linda, um, i picked I up this it. brush i have not used it yet but i'm going to use it with my it's a setting brush i'm going to use it with my i keep wanting to say glow minerals but my um loose powder derma blend powder and then let you know if i think it's just as good as the 125 or the 225 that i use now 
and um, one of the managers at Ulta had this on and I've looked at it a million times and I've probably had it in a palette and may still have it and just don't realize it but it's Midnight Cowboy which I realize is one of Urban Decay's you know best-selling colors but I thought it was going to be way too but when she had sparkly. it on it was like the sparkles had kind of come off and it just left the prettiest sheen and that was all she had on so I grabbed that single shadow and I haven't used it yet but just real pretty and um, in the summer a lot of times I like to do a lighter eye and a bolder lip so grab that and um, they just got Calvin Klein cosmetics at my Ulta and I wasn't sure you know what I wanted to try so I just grabbed this lipstick and it's called whatever that's literally the name and it is a nude and it's kind of got a sheen to it and I've only worn it one time and I already had my Dior 123 on so I haven't given it a good try by itself let me get back to you and let you know how it is um let's see I got I'm gonna, okay I'm gonna save my Dior stuff till the end I picked up these um I got I don't even know what the other ones I think I got all of them now but the lip butters our waitress that one of our favorite waitresses at one of our favorite Mexican places had this on the other night and she had the macadamia on and she had the prettiest nude lip and she said what it is is she put her foundation on and then put that on and she thinks that that mixed with the little bit of foundation she had on her lips made the prettiest color and so I put on my Instagram I went and picked up every one of them but this one and then all of you told me I needed to get this one too and this one is the Nivea Lip Butter Raspberry Rose Kiss. And the only reason I didn't get it first is because I already had the Dior Rose Lip Balm. And, um, but then Gina told me that this one really doesn't smell like roses. It smells more like raspberries, and it does. And I love it. It's the prettiest light pink color, and um, they feel so good on your lips. And I'm really trying, I was trying to find something that was not as expensive as the lip slip by sarah hap even though i love that it runs out so quick and i'm not getting my hair cut where i used to buy it anymore it's not as convenient and um, this is just 3.99 and i believe that was 21 so so far this is doing just as good and i love it okay i went to cvs and i have been to every cvs and i did sell two sets of these lip liners on my website and i will try to find some more She's into everything. But I picked up the Spice, and I also picked up the pink one. I think it's called Hot Pink. And then I picked up some backups of these Milani liners. Holly Ann Ray is the one that told me about them, and they are just phenomenal. The Spice is pretty dark. It's much darker than the, let's see, I'll swatch it. It's much, they're so pigmented. Much darker than the Nude and the So Natural but it would be good for those days that you want something like this. But to me, you just can't beat the, if you just got the nude and the natural, yeah, you would be I zoomed in a little set. bit closer because I was thinking maybe if I got less of my top, it, the coloring would be better. But here is the caramel one I got too. I just ran across that. Okay, and then when I was at the CBS, Gina was telling me how nice the lipsticks that go with those liners are. So I grabbed Dolce Caramello and Nude Cream, number 26 and 27. This one I just opened this morning. I haven't even swatched it yet, but just a pretty nude. Tammy, Uppies Beads, I think about her when I see this one. And um, this one I wore that day and it was really a really pretty pinky nude. Real pretty, like a, a caramel type color. Even though this is the nude cream, it was just really. I picked up finally good... Twig, MAC Twig. They finally got it back in. And you guys were right. This is this is the most rosy Huntington Whiteley color I think there could be. It's just a gorgeous color. And I wore it, I think yesterday. I wore it for a little while. <laughs> I wear things. I start off with one and end up with others. And um, Hourglass. Oh, goodness, I got the brush. Let me go get it. Okay, so the Hourglass it brush. Here it is. And my thoughts are... For $35, if you think that you want it and want to give it a try, I would say it's definitely worth that. Now, if you are, I'm expecting my other powders today. I really thought they would come yesterday, but my mood, the mood and radiant are coming today. And um, I love them. I love every one of those powders. Today, I have on the Luminize. That seems to be my favorite so far. Okay, the way I put on those powders is I like to get it on my brush 
and kind of swirl it around my face like this. So this brush is not the one that I use. I have been using my Smashbox cheek brush is the one I've been using. But if you're someone who wants to just kind of go in the powder like this and lay it on your cheeks like that, then this is just a fabulous brush. If you would like to get this and maybe use it for contour like that, kind of like that Dior brush, then it's good for that too. There, you cannot go wrong with an hourglass brush. They just, I don't know if you can go wrong with an hourglass product, period. All their products are just phenomenal. But, um, so that's my opinion on this. I do think it's worth $35. It's a beautiful brush. It comes in a nice box and everything. But for how I use the powders, it's not the one that I'm going to use. But I might use it for something else. So I didn't send it back. Okay, um, what else? Okay, this is something else. This is probably one of my best finds, too, for this week. Um, Araceli at our restaurant, um, she also had this on, and her makeup just looked so pretty that night. And even John said, she really did look pretty. And she had that nude lip, and then her skin was so bronzy and pretty, and she loves makeup anyway, so we always talk back and forth about makeup. But I said, what have you got on your cheeks? And she said, it's Laura Mercier. She said, it's one of those mosaics like you used the other day. Because in my tutorial, I had just used, I think, the, oh God, I can't remember what that one's called, but the highlighter one. And um, her cheeks just, they looked bronze, but they and they were glowing, but they didn't look like a highlighter. And I said, you sure it isn't a bronzer? And she said, well, it might be. She said, it came in a Sephora package that I got for Christmas. And she said, I think it's called something like Golden. And so... I told her just to message me and let me know what it was. Well, before she even messaged me, I had already figured it out, gone and bought it. And I love it. I love it. It's the, it is the Laura Mercier Mosaic in Golden Mosaic. And it is just beautiful. I've got it on today. It is, I mean, I don't know if I can even get a, look how pretty it is. It's just all those colors together make the prettiest color. And it reminds me of my Moon Glow by Jane Iredale without as much. It's not as intense as that. You can actually, I've been using this as my bronzer. My contour, today I used it as my contour and my bronzer all over. Now, if you hate, it's not shimmery, it's more of a, I mean, it's not sparkly, it's more of a little bit of a shimmer, shimmery glow type thing. If you don't like that, then you might not like it, but it is on the low end of that. It's really, really smooth. It's not like a MAC MSF or something like that, and I love it. And she messaged me again and said that she likes to use it as an eyeshadow, too, so I'm going to try that. Maybe we'll do a tutorial with it one day, but it's just beautiful. Really, really pretty. So, one of my best things. So, when I ordered the Hourglass brush, I wanted to get the free shipping, so I remembered this. I've had this lipstick on my mind since I did that meet and greet. This is what the makeup artist used on me, and it is called Fresco. And I don't know how many of these colors I'm going to get, but it is beautiful. It's just a rosy nude. <laughs> so I should be able to do like a video on rosy nudes and tell you which one is the best one, but it's just beautiful. And I won't even swatch it because people say they can't even tell anything about my swatches, but so it's really pretty. And um, so I've got that off my mind okay. now. Okay. Dior. You know, I've gone just nuts back over Dior. And my Dior counter, um, I went to high school with one of the girls, and then I've gotten to be friends with the other one, so I love going and talking to them. And um, matter of fact, if you live close to me, they are doing an event. This, They're doing it now, and they're having a makeup artist, I think, come in next week. Oh, goodness. Knocking everything off. Um, let's see. Here is the little beauty wardrobing um, and they don't have the date on here but it's next week if you'll call or go to the counter um, they're doing it but I got this and I wanted to show it to you because it is so pretty um, if you get three products they give you one of these nice comes in a nice big box um, travel cases and I I feel guilty because I don't even travel enough to use this I do we're gonna go somewhere neat this summer I don't know where we're gonna go we're thinking about it and um, but it's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? And I love the, I don't know, I don't know why I love that so much, but you could put a lot of stuff in here, like even if you want to put your hair products or whatever. 
So you get this if you get three products. And some other counters might be doing that too. I would just call and see. Um, but I know enough people that watch me here locally know. And actually, when I was saying that, that I was going to mention that, um, she said, if you mention my name, they'll have like a little special package for you up there at the counter just with some samples. Usually they have like a mascara and some perfume and stuff like that. So I went and talked to Selena one day and I ended up getting this shadow. I was telling her how much I love that black shadow and they had just gotten this one in and it is the Grage. It is number 726 and it is just a very boring looking shadow. It's actually just the color of your skin tone and just with a, it's more of a matte. Um, would I say this is a must have? No, um, but I did like it enough that I think I'm gonna keep it. But I used it yesterday as just like an all over and then did something in the crease and it was really pretty. So it's just gonna be one of those shadows that you can, like a base shadow. And um, so today I, got I went back and I was looking at, I wanted to look at the other nude, the same range of lipsticks, like the 123 and the Swan. And so I ended up getting, what did I get that day? I ended up getting a backup of the 123 and then what else did I get that day? I got the eyeshadow, I got the Dior brow, and then I got um, Gina, a lip liner. She had been looking for Candy Rose and couldn't find it, so I grabbed that for her. And that was my three products I got for the thing. Well then, yesterday, I went back. Um, they were having, yesterday, the extra 40% off sale started. So I ran back in there, and Faith was at the counter, and before, I, I think I spotted her when I was coming down the escalator, and I noticed her lip combo, and it was this one, and I loved it. And so, the coincidence was, one of you, and I'll try to find your name and put it here, was, was just telling me that I needed to get the Plaza lipstick, and it is the Dior Addict Extreme, which these last longer, so it was just perfect. When she told me it was Plaza, and somebody else had already told me, I said, ooh, I want it. So, I got on this today, and it's gorgeous just a beautiful color I wore have it on with candy rose and um, this lip gloss which I love the name of this it is um, so Plaza is 476 and the gloss that she had on over it is the ultra gloss glow 664 rose bikini and it's this one so that's what I have on my lips today and I love it and I wanted to do I always like a smoky eye and like hot pink lip gloss I don't know what it is so that's why I did this today for something different. And um, so I was looking at the Dior Nude lipsticks and I wanted to get, I forgot to get one. Um, she put it on hold for me. What is the, is it um, Charnel? I believe is, it, is the name of it. And I couldn't decide between the other one. I was looking at Grage and Trench and I ended up getting Trench, which is a really pretty, like Bridget Bardot Nude real like a tawny um, color just really really pretty I put that on when I got in the car so I think that's it so I'm gonna do a okay, quick so outfit of the day on, actually this is a new top I just got it at um, it's not really exciting but I got it at Express they have these in all different colors and um, they actually have that bright blue that I like I might end up getting it but it was like 50 it wasn't on sale and um, but I like I love a button up shirt like this one that is more of a silky material that way they don't feel so bunchy and I I just noticed that I end up wearing them more and um, the pants are from Gap they're the same kind as the camouflage ones they're just the black you know side zip pants and the shoes I have on are the nude Gianni beanie I just love all black with nude shoes and these are very 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 comfortable so, um, I have these on. And for accessories, I have on my Dean Davidson earrings, which I love. They're just the black onyx with the gold. I have on a necklace from J. Crew. Um, this is also a Dean Davidson necklace. Um, I have this and the bracelet that matches, and I believe it was called Tube, the Tube necklace. I just love his stuff. And um, no rings because I felt like I already had so much on. And um, I had my nails done this week, and I believe this was Eiffel, Eiffel for this color. <laughs> it's just like a dark purple. And um, that is it. 
So I hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, I hope to be back maybe either tomorrow or Sunday and do just a regular old video. So I hope you have a good weekend. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.